I'm Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, you certainly don't have to be a cattle farmer or rancher to appreciate this. Freedom to live and work and to enjoy your life and the liberty to do so with minimal interference from anyone, particularly the government, is embodied in the American dream. It defines who we are as a nation and as a people. But hold on to the fence because we're on the verge of throwing it all away. And you might ask, how can that be? Well, the answer is found within the context of the centuries-old quote from a non-American. In fact, this non-American delivered his timeless message 44 years before America threw its Boston Tea Party, which was a defiant protest against Britain's taxation without representation, something the colonists viewed as evil. And the irony is, is that the author, Edmund Burke, was a British statesman. And unbeknownst to him at the time, his famous quote gave justification for the birth of America and a constitution designed to guard against evil. And you know this short but profound quote, all that is necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. And as it is with history, we can modify this to meet the times like this, all that is necessary for evil to triumph is for good men and women to do nothing. So evilness rarely surfaces immediately before the initiation of corrective action. Instead, it usually starts small and slow working incrementally to eventually pervade all of society. And so we're about to get to the specific example, but first let's start here. What if the federal government decided that your personal property, and not just your guns, but your automobiles, bikes, and anything else you own must be registered with the federal government? And what if you are required to purchase and affix to your property a federally approved decal manufactured in some communist country, say like China? And then from time to time, you might be subject to an audit from some private third party to verify that you actually purchased and affixed to your property the mandatory communist source decal. Now that's a troubling thought. And yes, the registration part of that scenario does currently apply to guns. But now the federal government wants to add yet another potentially lethal property item to that mandate. Yours and your neighbors and your friends' cows. Now don't laugh. I'm not making this stuff up. I don't have the propensity to be a comic. You see, it's true that for at least 18 years, the federal government has been aggressively trying to commandeer control over each and every cow owned by three quarters of a million independent cattle farmers and ranchers. And they want to do this through registration and identification with an electronic identification ear tag, which is not unlike a decal. So let's break down everything our overreaching government wants. And if you don't have cows, then every time I say cow, you substitute another of your assets, say your car or your bicycle. So first, the government wants you to register your premises. That is your real property where your cows are kept. Then the government wants you to purchase and affix at your own expense an electronic identification decal or your tag to your cows. Now this is the taxation without representation part because it's not Congress doing this. It's the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And we've officially asked the U.S. Department of Agriculture if the only manufacturer of those mandatory electronic identification decals or ear tags is the home to the Chinese Communist Party. But after nearly two months, we've received no reply. And next, the government wants you to record and report every instance when your cows are moved beyond your premises. And when you sell your cows, well, that needs to be reported too. Now, if you're not bristled up and as angry as a badger right now, You'll likely never be. But something miraculously stopped the federal government in its tracks. It happened about 10 years ago. And what stopped the government from achieving its evil plan was the good men and women of America. They said no. A whole lot of them said no. But like Las Vegas, the government never sleeps. And it's now refocusing its evil eye on your property. Remember, it's coming for cows today. Tomorrow, it'll want your bicycles or your wallets. And here's the descriptor for today, incrementalism. The government has put its evil plan back in motion and is restarting small and slow. Right now, today, the government is focusing only on your older assets, those you've owned for a year and a half. And it's only issuing its costly mandate for those of you who dare transport your cows across state lines. Have you heard enough? Well, then good men and women of America, let your voices be heard by calling your members of Congress today to tell them no to the plan to mandate electronic identification on American cows. Let's do what we do best. Let's defend our liberty, freedom, and independence by standing up and taking action. 
And the action to take is to call your member of Congress to tell them to put a stop to the mandatory electronic identification of American cows. With that, have a productive week. Thank you and goodbye.